My name is Mason Kane. I am the product development manager um, here at Greenworks Commercial, specifically for our all-electric commercial vehicle line. So our zero turns and UTVs and our accessories and attachments that go along with them. So snow and ice is always going to be one of the, the, the hardest things to tackle, especially in the landscape industry, even now with gas and diesel equipment. And I think, you know, as we continue to change the narrative and show that we can not only do things in the spring season um, landscaping world with like mowing and cutting and trimming, but we can also do things in the fall and the winter seasons with things like plowing, snow blowing, um, as well as scraping. So what makes us different truly is that we are able to utilize our battery that we have gained tons of confidence throughout the years as we continue to develop and, and bring in from in-house and, and start to develop products such as the Snowblade so that way it can tap into that battery and it can actuate for travel modes, adjust its angle for the right plow approach um, and as well as just store easily and lightly. It's got the beauty of not having a secondary power source like you've seen in traditional gas or even some battery competitors because you are able to tap into the, the battery of the machine itself. Um, I totally understand the skepticism and want to ride that feedback through to make sure that this product becomes something that fights that skepticism. Right now, this is just more or less a proof of concept and we want to just garner the feedback that we can get now. But we want to continue to develop this and make sure that we put out onto the market the perfect accessory for our ZTR, for the solutions um, and applications that we're going to be seeing on snow and ice. We make sure that we test these things well over into thousands of hours. We also like to take advantage of some of the more advanced usership um, across the country just to make sure that these things are getting not so much abused but under the most harsh conditions so that way in theory that as they can tackle those sort of situations they could then be used across you know some of the more smaller less snow laden states and areas so for snow and ice specifically we're looking at doing a, a just a standard uh, front end attached air blower also powered by our ETO system so that'll be good for some of the more fresh powdery snow um, about 1400 CFM almost 100 miles an hour of blow force so be good to kind of clear off that initial powdery snowfall. We're also looking at doing things like a potential dual stage snow thrower front end attachment, also powered off of the ETO accessory, um, and a couple other things that we've, we've got uh, tucked away. But we want to be able to, uh, to vet it through, make sure we get things down right, and even possibly look to develop some dedicated machines for snow and ice.